Previously, we talked about the meaning of nod. And uh, today, we're going to talk about uh, Rachel. And uh, these are the variations Rachel, Raquel, Raquel, uh, Rachel. <laughs> this is how I say it, Rachel, which is French. But uh, Rachel is the latter version from the King James uh, Bible, Rachel. Okay, so what does the name mean? As always, let's see what others are saying about the meaning of Rachel. According to online sources and according to modern Hebrew, Rachel means to journey. Uh, a ewe, which is a female, uh, a female sheep. And uh, one with purity. Okay. So none of these is true, okay? They're just mere guesses or pure fabrications. So how does the Eve or the ancient Hebrew work? See, in the Eve, the head is called the top because it is placed above the body. The arm is called a bow because it is meant for grouping or regrouping. See, likewise, a chair is for a sitting. Okay, so names in the Bible or in the Eve, aka the ancient Hebrew, are for a reason. So, what then is the meaning of Rachel according to the letters? So, if you follow the evolution of the name Rachel based on the translations, and one from the ancient Hebrew, or the text was translated from the ancient Hebrew, the Eve. To the Greek, and then from there to Latin, which is also Roman, and then from there to German. Okay, it is here where the uh, Reformation uh, took place with the events of Mar Martin Luther, and if it is he who caused the Bible to be translated into other languages, you know, like French and English, uh, like the KJV Bible, which we have uh, today. So to go back to the original. You only have to kind of trace the the evolution of the name back to its original. Okay, so from English, we're gonna trace it back to the Latin and to the Greek, and then we find the ancient Hebrew. So the Greek spelling of uh, Rachel was Rachel. Okay, and Latin is Rachel. And then German is Rachel. Mm -hmm. And English is Rachel or uh, Raquel. Okay. So, gotta go back to it, uh, to a cycle, which is again Rachel. And then in Greek, uh, put it here. Raquel, and then ultimately back to Raquel. So if you look closely, you can notice the, uh, the transition of the X into the K, K, uh, K, H, or into the CH, okay? Those are nuances due to uh, linguistic um, variations, okay? Not everybody has all the every or ancient Hebrew letters uh, presence in their alphabet. So every now and then, the same letter gets substituted with another one close uh, in, uh, in sound or in, in pronunciation. So from here, we can safely decipher Rachel to know its uh, meaning according to the letters and according to uh, the biblical context. Wherefore, in Rachel, there are three syllables, the Ra, the H, and the La, okay? The Ra is the head. What is the head? It is positioned 
above the body, okay? So it is prime or head or chief, okay? I have memorized the chart. That's how I can do it fluently. If you want to do it fluently, you're going to be fluent with the ancient Hebrew language. You just got to memorize the chart, okay? It is easier that way, okay? So the Ra is the profile of a person. It is placed above the body. It means the prime is his uh, head or chief or commander. And the Ha, if you look at the pictogram, it means to receive or to, to hold or to app apprehend, okay? Apprehend. In some uh, uh, instances, it means also to, to seize. And now the la, it means to rule or to hold. Uh, also means to receive, okay? So altogether, Rahel, you see the imagery of one, okay, who, who seizes, or one who uh, receives uh, preeminence, okay, prime, or headship, okay, headship or preeminence, 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 okay, Rachel, wherefore, to add two and two together to confirm the uh, the letters, we have got to go to the context. Okay, to the to the text. In Genesis twenty nine verse seventeen, in King James version, we read, "Leah was tender eyed, but Rachel was beautiful and well favored." Okay, beautiful and well favored. That's the ra. Okay, she received a preeminence. Uh, Rachel was the second born, but her beauty surpasses that of Leah, who was the first born. And in a second context, we read about uh, Rachel, who was the second wife of uh, Jacob, bragging about prevailing over her sister, who was Jacob's first wife. Genesis 30 verse 8, And Rachel said, With great wrestlings, have I wrestled with my sister and I have prevailed, okay? So that's the ha, that's, that, that is to host or to, to apprehend. And then the, uh, the L is the arm. So she prevails over her sister and received or, and, and, and or took the headship, okay? That's how we have the ra in uh, Rachel. And in a third context, we see uh, in Genesis 30, verse 15, in the King James Version, where Leah complains about her younger sister, Rachel, trying to hog everything for herself, okay? And she said, and Leah said unto her, Is it a small matter that thou hast taken my husband, and wouldest take away my son's uh, mandrix also, okay? So, wherefore she is called Rahel, or Rachel, meaning one who expropriates, or who supplants, or who seizes, okay, the headship. So, that's it about Rachel. Coming next, we are going to tell you about Leah. Stay tuned, and hey, Sunday.